Today I'm going to show you the perfect way to automate the process of creating captions for your Reels in Premiere Pro. We'll be focusing on just this one powerful plugin, so let's dive into it. This is Creative Society. Okay, so the plugin is called Submachine, and we're gonna talk about three things today. How to get your hands on Submachine, our three favorite presets, and how to use and customize your captions with this plugin. So what is Submachine and how do you access it? Submachine is a premier plugin used to automate word-by-word -word subtitles using different presets. They offer a seven-day free trial, a subscription plan paid monthly, another subscription plan paid yearly, and a lifetime purchase. You can find links to the product in the description of this video. We opted for the lifetime payment and we've been using it for more than one year. Overall, we're very happy with the decision. Uh, this plugin has improved our workflow a lot and we used it for all of our client work. And now is time to talk about our top three favorite presets that come with this plugin. First one is Karaoke Pro 2.0. Here's a sample video that shows you how this one looks like. Imagine a world where your message not only reaches its audience, but truly engages them, where every communication is clear, captured captivating and concise. This isn't a distant dream. The second one is Animator Pro 2.0, which looks something like this. On the court, every movement matters. Every second counts. This is where passion meets precision. And the third style is called Light 2.0, which is a straightforward yet powerful one. They've all faced moments of doubt, moments of failure. Giving up seemed like the easiest thing to do, but they kept going. Now let me show you how to use this plugin. We have this footage, which was generated with AI. Imagine a world where your message not only reaches its audience, but truly engages them. To open the submachine window, go to Window Extensions and hit Submachine. Let me move this tab from Zoom below. Then we have to go to the text window. If you can't see it, go to Window and check Text. Click on Create Captions from Transcript. Collapse the captioning preferences. And the main things you have to change are the minimum duration and maximum length. Put both of them all the way to the left and also check Single for the lines. In the next section, Transcript Preferences, select the language, labeling if you have different speakers and the audio on track. I have only one track, so I'll choose Mix, then hit Transcribe and Create Captions. Then we have a new layer for the subtitles at the top of the timeline. Now, we gotta double check if the words are correct. We verify that in the text window. I'll just run through the subtitles to make sure everything is correct. World where your message not only reaches its audience, but, but truly engages them, where every communication is clear, captivating, and concise. This is isn't a distant dream. If you want to change words, just double click on them in the text window and make edits. Of course, you can also adjust the length of the blocks to sync the audio with the captions. Then click on these three dots in the text window, go to export and choose export to SRT file, select a location and save the file. Now open the submachine window and you have to drag and drop the SRT file from finder into this section. Then open finder again and you have to drag and drop a MOGRT preset. Before you do that, make sure the frame rate of the sequence is the same as the one listed in the preset name. I have the frame rate set to 60, so I'll search for the presets with 60 in their title. You can choose the amount of characters per phrase and click create subs. Wait for the process to be over. You will also hear a bell sound effect when it's done. Let's hide the subtitles layer and check the results. Imagine a world where your message not only reaches its audience, but truly engages them. Let me make this window larger so you can see it better. In the Essentials graphics panel, we can make changes to the preset. Here we can adjust things like the font, size, color of the text or the block, drop shadow opacity, the size of the highlight block or its roundness, the color of the current word, and different animations. Each preset comes with its own settings, so I recommend taking your time to try them out. Now let me show you how to sync the settings for all blocks. In the timeline, move the playback to the block with the settings you want to sync, and then select all the other blocks that you want to paste the settings to. Then in the submachine window, hit sync all. Wait for the changes to occur, and when you hear the ding sound effect, it means the changes are done. Imagine a world where your message not only reaches its audience. Awesome, now all changes are complete. Another thing you should double check is the length of the blocks. Some have this gap at the end, so make them slightly longer to avoid that error. If you want to change the words, select a block, 
Go to Essential Graphics and edit the text input section. Keep in mind the number in the word progression. That number reflects which word of the text input is highlighted. Here we have to change the text to every communication instead and also change the word progression to one for the word every and two for the word communication. Where every communication is clear, these are really the main ways to customize the text blocks. We encourage you to try out the seven day trial and if you like it to consider one of their plans. Links to Submachine are available in the description of this video. If you stayed till the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing to our channel for more tutorials and comment below your thoughts on this plugin. Have a wonderful day.